and welcome to DIY Weight Loss where I help you help yourself. So today we're going to be talking calorie counting and we're going to be talking the net calorie app. So let's get into it. So one of the first things is you can put your calorie deficit up to have your water goal. You can add if you uh, drink a glass of water here and track it using that and that's perfectly fine. You just literally tap this little button and add it and separate things based off of what you eat. So you're going to go to view all meals and you can see everything that you ate you can just click this right here little one right there and then you are going to add what you eat it's one of the nice features let me show you i love it but down here there's a little a plus sign and that plus sign so when you're adding in your food you're gonna a drop down menu is gonna come down breakfast lunch dinner snack and you can actually calculate food for each each meal which is nice and you can either type it in and pick and it'll give you like serving options or you can scan it i like scanning it uh not always gonna work but oftentimes it does but pay attention to serving size because it might ask you serving size you know how many serving size or how many cookies or and they also have um examples that you can use of how much something is like i think one ounce is the shape of a nine volt battery something like that so um it, it can give you suggestions if you need what a serving size looks like which i think is really helpful personally faves so if you have something that you eat a lot so there's a lot of options to help you out you can see the things that i eat for breakfast greek yogurt and peanut butter protein powder app there's so much to this app and a lot of it is free uh, there are premium things i don't pay for it at the moment but i mean it's definitely a great app highly recommend it but keep in mind, this is tracking what you eat for a while is just to reteach you what different things are because certain foods have a lot of calories in them and not very much protein or even nutritional value. It just depends on what it is. If you can look at what you're eating and change in a way that you're not only going to enjoy your food, but also not feel that if you're, if you're like me, eat it and then you have enjoyment for a second and then you feel real guilty after like disappointed in yourself and also frustrated and tired because you're like man was it really worth it especially for me because I eat tend to eat fast I eat a little slower now but still I would just be super hungry I'd wait until I'm hungry at the very last minute I wasn't um, staying hydrated so not only was I hungry but I was really thirsty it was hard to think I was not tracking any amount of protein that I was getting so I'd eat these foods that were super empty uh, calorie wise and just a lot of grease and salt and sugar delicious but nutritious no I found better alternatives do I still eat a McDonald's fry yeah but I'm gonna do a small instead of the large like you're doing your best and once you get into that habit of drinking 64 ounces a day at least, walking about three miles uh, six days a week, and eating within that calorie deficit, you're going to start to realize that you don't have quite as much appetite, or maybe you do, but you might become more prepared like I do. I usually have fruit with me. It really helps me feel full and gives me fiber. Also, you're going to find that you enjoy those alternatives a lot more because you're also not dealing with that guilty feeling afterwards and even if you do like eat what you used to eat and it's a big mac or something like that you might find that you didn't fall off the weight wagon even though you went out and got a bunch of fast food for a day or something like that as long as you go back to those healthy habits drinking water all that kind of stuff your body's going to feel better, you're going to feel better, your mental health's going to do better, and you're going to find you have more energy and you're feeling happier. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. And if you're interested, like and follow DIY Queen for more. Later.